So it's been a while since I did a story time. I guess this time we'll talk about how when I turned 21, I went to the strip club and the stripper ended up getting the name Little Taint Taint. Not Little Tink Tink. Little Taint Taint. All right, so prior to me going to the strip club for my 21st, I have been to the strip club like twice in West Virginia, you know, with my uncles and my cousins and a couple of homies. But, you know, I was somewhat shy around that age of 18. So, you know, I literally stood in the back. I was too scared to even, you know, walk up to the front and throw money. So it wasn't that enjoyable. But boy, by the time I turned 21, I was a different man. So me and my cousin decided that we were going to go up and check out some strippers in West Virginia again. So my cousin come to the crib. We pull out. Drive up the road, smooth sailing, pull in the parking lot. I pull out a bottle of Everclear, straight gasoline. So I hand the bottle to my cousin, let him do the honors of having the first chug. He takes it to the head. Next thing I know, sound like it went down the Google pipe wrong. He was over there like. So after we saw that he wasn't going to die, I figured it was my turn. So I turned it up too, but it was a very little bit. I ended up spitting that shit out. It was disgusting. It tastes like straight gasoline. So we finally make our way into the club. Now I know West Virginia doesn't have the best reputation of strippers being easy on the eyes, but it really wasn't that bad. It was about 50-50. You know, 50% critters, 50%, you know, baddies. So we get up in there, pick a seat or whatever. You know, the women walking by talking, hey, doing what they do all the time. So we sitting there chopping it up, you know, throwing back a couple beers. After that, we mosey on up to the stage. We ain't doing nothing too crazy. Just throwing a couple ones here and there, here and there. You know, tossing around a little bit of money. Nothing too crazy. So we do that for about an hour or so. So, you know, one of the little critters that we previously threw money on comes back to us after her little set is done. She bring a little ass over there and she was one of the critters. But she was cool, though, you know. She was sitting there chopping it up with us, talking about all the women in the club and how they don't like her because of a bunch of shit we ain't give a damn about. So she started getting even more comfortable, started twerking and shit, started throwing that little ass butt. So like I said, you know, she was very comfortable at that time. So she scooted over in front of me and my cousin, like directly in front of us, then turned around and asked us if we wanted to see something. So we like, of course, that's what we here for. So she's in front of us. She reaches back while looking back at us, pulls her G-string to the side and... Starts flexing her butthole. Y'all already know I can't control my facial expressions. So as soon as she did that, and I seen that mug flex, I looked right at my cousin. Inside, I was crying. I I was trying so hard not to bust out laughing in front of this poor girl's face. I It took everything within me, but I, I still could not hold it. I was literally like about to combust from holding my laughter in. Because it's not only the act of what she did, it's the smell that came with it. <laughs> It's the smell that came with it. And I know my cousin smelt it because he had the same facial expression I did. So she's still in front of us, squeezing her little butthole. And we just sitting there, you know, now leaning back so we don't have to get a whiff of it. And just trying our best not to laugh in front of her. But we are, at this point, you know, doing a little, <laughs> you know, trying hard not to laugh. But it's just not working. The, the, the little giggles are coming out. But after about, like... 15 seconds, you know, she realizes that we are not enjoying what she is doing and she just gets up and say, okay, guys, we'll see you later. And as soon as she leaves our peripheral vision, we just die laughing. The rest of the night, we could not stop laughing. Everything was just comical to us. We could not take anything serious after that. The moral of the story, man, women, if y'all out there stripping, make sure you wash your ass. Don't be going in front of people's face, squeezing your little ass butthole and you smell like you got a turd about to come out. It should smell like an old ass rug. It should smell like an old apartment. Hey, I don't mind if you come squeeze your little turd cutter in front of my face. Just make sure that motherfucker don't stink. <laughs>